I would like to warmly welcome everyone and thank each of you for being here to share with Kaylee and Adam the joy of this very special day. The most remarkable moment in life is when you meet the person who makes you feel complete. The person who makes the world a more beautiful and magical place. When you meet that person with whom you share a bond so special that it transcends normal relationships and is something so pure and so wonderful, then you cannot imagine spending another day of your life without that person in it. For Kaylee and Adam, that is what happened and it what has brought us here today. Kaylee, here we are seven years later. I remember the first time I locked my eyes on you. It just so happened you looked over and I saw you smiling, waving. If I remember correctly, you were wearing a buffalo plaid skirt, a black tank top, red lipstick, with your curly brown hair. Mm -hmm. I never met you before, and you welcomed me with open arms with your fries that you ordered. <laughs> <laughs> I never knew in that moment that you had opened a valve in my heart. After a few months of seeing each other as friends, I asked you to be my girlfriend on New Year's Eve. A few hours later, I ended up well, ditching you at the bar. <laughs> Alcohol was involved, believe it or not. I thought, oh boy, it was over. When I woke up in the morning, after seeing that paragraph of a message, I was thinking, oh, never gonna do that again. <laughs> I can honestly say, when I'm with you, it has made me a better loving person. I can't wait for this next chapter in our lives together. Saying I love you is an understatement. The moments that we have together on a daily basis just keeps myself loving you more each day. And when I have a bad day in general, you keep my head up moving forward, and that's something I'll always appreciate about you. You always have a smile and a kiss when I get home from work, and just those little moments making coming home and being home with you, amazing. Kaylee, the day I proposed to you was the best, best decision I've made in my life. Just in that moment, I can't wait to grow old together, just seeing you on the, how you reacted. I'm here for you through your highs and lows. I'll be here for when you need a shoulder to cry on or to laugh on. You don't have a key to my heart, you have my whole heart. Forever and always, babe, take my name and make it yours. I love you. Adam, you look so handsome today. I'm so happy that today has finally come after eight years together. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world to have you as my husband. You make me smile every day and allow me to truly be myself with you. You may seem like a very quiet guy, but over the last few years, you have opened up to me in ways I never imagined. I am so thankful that you listen to my feelings and share with me yours. You continue to surprise me with the most incredibly sweet gestures of love, like surprising me at my bridal shower when I thought you were hours out of town. You are my best friend and my Adam. I couldn't imagine my life without you. I promise to be your number one fan and support you with any decisions you make in life. I am so proud of all of the accomplishments that you've had and I look forward to celebrating all the amazing things I know you will achieve. Today I say I do, but to me that means I will. I will take your hand and stand by your side through the ups and downs life may throw at us. I will love you with my entire heart. I promise to be honest, faithful, and a loving wife for the rest of our lives. Lastly, but most importantly, I promise to forever call you my Adam. Because when I say it, to me it means you are my everything. I love you. We recognize and respect the covenant of marriage you have made here this day before each one of us as witnesses. Therefore, in the honesty and sincerity of what you have said, and done here today, and by the power vested in me, it is my honor and delight to declare you to be husband and wife. Go forth and live each day to the fullest. You may seal this declaration with a kiss. Um. Waiting. <laughs> Stop.
Stop. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Adam is a man of very few words. The only occasion I've ever heard Adam be very vocal is when he's had a few too many drinks. Then the fun Adam comes out and he, he can't stop talking and yes, he even dances. Adam is a homebody. He will come for dinner, but very shortly after, it's time to go because he likes being home. Three years ago, they bought their first home and it took Adam a couple more years to actually decide to buy a ring. The day Adam came to ask Bruno and I if he could marry her, he was so nervous. I told him not to worry. You don't think she's going to say no, do you? Bruno and I wish them a long and wonderful life together. Marriage isn't always easy, but it's how you get through the tough times that build the bond between you and make it stronger. Never take time for granted. Enjoy each day you have together. Never put things off until you have enough money, because there's never enough money. During the summer, we would always get the dad's tools and mess around in the bush and play in the backyard. We built a wood, family woodshed together as a family, and my dad put a lot of hard work in that woodshed. I remember him saying strongly, don't poke that wood, don't peel that bark off that woodshed. But one day, dad was doing his rounds. He noticed the bark being poked at, peeled at, and I remember looking out the window as a little kid, and, oh no, here he comes, burst into the house, Adam, back! I told you not to poke the woodshed. And old Adam said, he's about three years old, eh? no dad, it wasn't me, it was a... <laughs> I said, yeah dad, it was a woodpecker, it was a woodpecker. You might be wondering who would be the perfect match for such a special woman. Enter Adam William Denhart. Unfortunately, I was away at school when Kaylee and Adam first met and started spending time together, so I don't know all the particulars of how the relationship came to be, but from what I understand, it involved an introduction from our cousin Chris, a day at the mud bogs, and Kaylee adamantly telling my parents, I believe on more than one occasion, that Adam was just a friend and she was never going to date him. Fast forward how long? Oh yeah, seven and a half years, and we are celebrating the two of them promising to love each other for the rest of their lives. Now, if you would all please join me in raising a glass to Kaylee and Adam and a life of love, laughter, and happily ever after. Cheers, you guys. Cheers, guys. Okay, walk slow. Okay, we're going through the doorway. Mm -hmm. Okay, stop for a second. Don't open. Don't open. I'm Here's not opening. Okay, come on. <laughs> you're not leaving. You're staying here. <laughs> you're not going anywhere. I love you. I love you too.
for 